Okay, welcome back to Mr. Hassan's Maths Channel. I'm going to be answering question number three from the International A Level Pure Mathematics P2, um, January 2020 paper. And uh, this question here, number three, is about the factor theorem. Okay, so we have to show using the factor theorem that 2x plus 3 is a factor of f of x. So basically what it means when it's a factor is that when you divide this function by 2x plus 3, you will have no remainder. Now, one of the ways of doing that is to substitute whatever value causes uh, the, this bracket to be 0 into this function. Because if it's a factor of this, then you'll have 2x plus 3 times another factor, this is cubic times another factor, um, equals 0, okay, um, when x equals a value which causes this bracket to be 0, it will be a factor of this expression, okay? So if 2x plus 3 is a factor of this expression, then the value of x that causes this to be 0 will be the value of x which causes this whole thing to become 0. So what we have to do is we have to find the value of x that causes 2x plus 3 to be 0, and we know that when 2x plus 3 equals 0, you have 2x equals negative 3, so x equals negative 3 over 2. So if I substitute negative 3 over 2 into this function, it should cause this function to become 0. Okay, so let's see if that happens. We have 6 times. Now we've got minus 3 cubed, which is minus 27 over, and you've got 2 cubed, which is 8. And you're going to have plus 17 times minus 3 over 2 squared. Now minus 3 squared is 9, and 2 squared is 4. And then you've got plus, and you've got 4 times minus 3 over 2. Okay, and then you've got minus 12. So this is going to give us, well, the 6 and the 8, um, 2 goes into both of those. So this will be 3, and this will be a 4. Um, nothing else cancels. Yes, this cancels with the, the, the 4 there. That's going to become a 2 and a 1. So we're going to have here 3 times minus 27 over 4. So 3 times minus 27, I think that's going to be a minus 81 over 4. And then we got 9 times 17. Okay, 9 times 17, which is 153. So you have plus 153 over 4. And you got 2 times minus 3, which is minus 6, and minus 12. So now we have 153 minus 81. What does that give us? That gives us 72. So you have 72 over 4. 72 over 4 minus 18. And that must be 72 over 4. I think that must be 18. Yes, it is. So that gives you 18 minus 18, which is 0. So we can say as f minus 3, 2 is equal to 0. Therefore, 2x plus 3 is a factor Okay, so you should uh, uh, write a statement like that showing it. So basically, uh, what we did here is we found the value of x that caused the bracket to be 0, and we showed clearly, showing our steps, that when we substitute minus 3 over 2 into this function, we ended up with 0. So then as f minus 3 over 2 equals 0, therefore 2x plus 3 is a factor of fx. That last statement is important for us to write down, to show. Okay, it's very important for us to write that statement down so that we can, you know, just, um, you know, confirm that it is a factor. So you don't just leave it at this. Write a, a qualifying statement saying as when we substitute minus 3 over 2 into the function f, we got 0. That means 2x plus 3 must be a factor of f of x. Okay, so that's something important. And now for part b. Okay, for part b, we're asked to, it says, hence, using algebra, write f of x as a product of three linear factors. Okay, so now we have to um, find the other factors of the function f of x. So the function f of x, as we uh, saw earlier, f of x, the function f of x is equal to 6x cubed plus 17x squared plus 4x minus 12. So you've got 6x cubed minus 17x squared but I'll just copy it down here, makes it easier. No, 
Okay. Okay. So f of x equals 6x cubed plus 17x squared plus 4x minus 12. And we have to show uh, or find the other factors. So we already know that 2x plus 3 is a factor. We, we saw that from the first part of the question. We had to prove that and we were told that. So even if we weren't able to prove it, for example, if you didn't know how to prove it, which you should do really, but if you didn't know how to prove it, it's still possible for you to get the answers for the next question because we're already told that it's a factor. Okay, so now what we can do is we can take our 2x plus 3. Now, there's different ways we could f show that it's a factor. And, um, um, sorry, there's, a two, there's different ways we could find the other factors. And one of them is by uh, doing algebraic long division. Okay, and that is where you take your factor that you know and you try to divide it into the expression that you're trying to fully factorize. So then you can find um, another factor up here. Okay, so if this is a factor, then when you do the algebraic long division, the remainder should be zero. Of course, we know it's going to be zero because it is a factor. But what will you be left up here with will be um, another uh, factor, which we can then maybe further factorize. So we say, okay, 2x into 6x cubed goes 3x squared times. You have 3x squared, okay? Um, one thing we have to always check for, by the way, is that all the terms are there. So you've got x cubed, x squared, x constant, everything is there, there's no problem. If any of them were missing, we'd have to put zero of that particular term in, in place of it. Anyway, everything's okay, so we don't have to worry about that in this particular question. So 2x into 6x cubed goes 3x squared times. If I divided 6x cubed by 2x, I'll get this. And then I multiply 3x squared by the, both of these terms, and I put them in the right place. So 3x squared times 2x cubed, 2x gives me 6x cubed. So I'll write that under the cubeds. And 3x squared plus 3 times 3, 3 gives you plus 9x squared. So I write that under the x squareds. And then I'm going to subtract these two. 6x cubed minus 6x gives me 0. 17x squared minus 9x squared gives me 8x squared. Okay, 17 minus 9 is going to give me 8. Okay, so that's 8x squared. And then I bring down the next term, which is 4x. And then I ask myself, how many times does 2x go into 8x squared? Well, 8x squared divided by 2x is plus 4x. So I have plus 4x. And then 4x times 2x is 8x squared again. And 4x times plus 3 is plus 12x. And then again, I subtract these two lines. This will give me 0. And this is going to be 4x minus 12x, which is negative 8x. Bring down the next term, which is minus 12. And then I say minus 8x divided by 2x gives me minus 4. And 4 times 2x is, or minus 4 times 2x is minus 8x. And minus 4 times 3 is minus 12. As we can see, there's no remainder. Therefore, this is another factor. So now I can say the other factor is 3x squared plus 4x minus 4. Now I need to factorize 3x squared plus 4x minus 4. Now to factorize this, we could do this in, in different ways. There's different ways to factorize such an expression. Now one of those ways of factorizing this expression is um, by splitting the middle term. Okay, in other ways, you could just do guess and check. All right, you can just try different values that will give you, um, you know, those when you factorize it. So you could just form two brackets and then try to factorize it. Um, I like to use a method where I make a little grid. That's what I prefer to do, and I'll show you how to do that. Okay, whichever way you prefer, it's absolutely fine how you do it. It's completely up to, up to you. So now we've found this other factor, we can now factorize this. So what I can do here, um, I'm going to use my grid method. So let me just make some space. I'll do it over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a little grid. I'll do it so that there's a bit of space on this side. I'm making my, my little grid, like I call it the window method some people do. And what I do is I put the first term, the, th the x squared term, so 3x squared, on the top left and on the bottom right minus 4. And then I need to find two numbers. When you multiply them, they give you the same as these two, the same product as these two. So the product has to be minus 12x squared. And the two numbers must also give me a sum of the middle term, which is 4x, positive 4x. Okay, so the two numbers have to go in these two, these two slots here. 
they multiply to give me minus 12x squared and add to give me 4x. Now, the numbers that multiply to give me minus 12 or 12 would be like 12 and 1, and you've got 3 and 4, and you've got 2 and 6. It looks like it's going to be 2 and 6. That's the right combination because 2 times 6 is 12, and 2, two and 6, when you add them together, you get 4 if one of them is a opposite sign of the other. And we have to have different signs because we know that the product is negative. So one of them is a positive number, one of them is a negative number. And so as the sum is a positive 4x, I must have a plus 6x and a minus 2x. These two numbers will multiply to give me the same as these two. Minus 12x squared, minus 12x squared, and 6x minus 2x gives me 4x. So I know I've got the right um, terms. And now all I have to do is something very simple. What I'm going to do is over here, I'm going to write down the common factor of these two in this row, which is just x. So I'll write x here. And then after that, it's very simple. Just I know that x times this number up here is going to give me 3x squared. Well, that must be 3x. And x times this number here is going to give you minus 2x. So that must be minus 2. And I know also that 3x times this number here gives me minus 6x. So 3x times plus 2 gives me um, 6x. And just to make sure, 2 times minus 2 gives me minus 4, so I know I'm correct. So this is actually going to be the same as 3x minus 2 times x plus 2. So therefore, I can say my total expression, which was 6x cubed plus 17x squared plus 4x minus 12, can be written as 2x plus 3, which was our first uh, factor, times 3x minus 2 times x plus 2 and there we have fully factorized this expression now there's another way we could also factorize this from this stage here and i'll show you that as way away as well that's by like comparing coefficients it's another method and i'll show you that method as well so i know that i have uh, um, basically one factor which was 2x what was the one they gave us 2x plus 3 times something gives us our main expression, which is 6x cubed plus 17x squared plus 4x minus 12. Okay, so what we could do here is we could um, think that the, the, the term in here has to be a quadratic because you have a linear times a quadratic will give us a cubic. So this is going to be of the form of ax squared plus bx plus c. And our objective now is to find a, b, and c. Now, if we compare, for example, the x cubes on this, when I expand this bracket, these brackets, the only x cubed term will be 2x times ax squared, which will give me 2ax cubed. Okay, 2ax cubed. So if I compare the x cubed terms, over here I'll have 2ax cubed, and over here I'm going to have 6. So that 2a must be the same as that 6. That's going to give me a equals 3. Okay, so I know a equals 3, so I know that's a 3x squared now. And if I compare the constants, which is the other one that's easy to compare, okay, which is the, um, the, the term without any x, when I expand these brackets here, the constant term will be when I do 3 times c. So I, I can say 3c must be the same as, and on this side, I know that the only constant term is minus 12. So 3c equals minus 12. So c is equal to minus 4. So I now, I know, I now have got so far that I know that this is 3x squared, and I know this is a minus 4 at the end. So now I have to just find what comes in the middle. So I can compare either the x squareds or the x terms. It doesn't really make a difference. But you've got to be a bit more careful with the x squared and x terms because um, there's more than one of them when you expand this. So you, for example, I'm going to have 2x times bx. That's going to be 2b. But there will also be, when I multiply 3 by ax squared, that will also be an x squared term. See, the, only, the x squared terms when I do 2x times bx and 3 times ax squared. Those will be the x squared terms. So I have to also add 3a to this, and that will give me my x squared term on this side, which is 17. And now I know that a is 3, I can find what b is. So I know a is 3, so I'll have 2b plus 3 times 3, which is 9 equals 17, because I know that a is equal to 3. And then I can say 2b is equal to 17 minus 9, which is 8. Therefore, b is equal to 4. So I now know that a is 3, b is 4, and c is minus 4. So I can say that our um, expression will become 2x plus 3 
times and we say a is 3 so that's 3x squared and b is 4 so you're going to have plus 4x and c is minus 4 minus 4 and this is the expression so far and then after that we can then go ahead and and factorize okay we can factorize it further because i i then after that it's, it's the same as what we just did before we can use this method to factorize we could split the middle term whatever but this factorizes and in the end your answer is going to be over what we get over there so you've got two ways of reaching this stage over here where you find this other factor one of them is by comparing coefficients okay that's what i did here and one, the other one is by algebraic long division so there's two different methods there okay so that's our, that's the end of part um, b of this question part c will I'll um, put in another video. Thank you for watching and <clears throat> see you soon.